Okay guys, so we actually have my buddy Scott over here. Scott is somebody that actually helped me build my trade show booth, which is pretty cool. And you keep a, a couple of different species. What's this girl? You want to introduce us real quick? Uh, this is Sonia. She's a 50% Calatoa, Paz Het Snow Tiger. She's three years old. Um, three years old. Three years, three years old this old. month. Three years Super old this month. Female. She's about all of eight feet, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, she's a cutie. But she's been having some like recurring issues. This issue that she's had is something you said it's gone away. It's come back. It's something that I think if you're if you're not used to reticulated pythons or something, it can seem pretty extreme or pretty scary. But I think once you have a little bit of an understanding of what this is, it's a uh, it's something that's fairly simple to work with as long as your snake is good. Yeah, yeah, and, and she's pretty well behaved. Um, she's always been a little bit of a, a pusher and uh, she'll go through phases of shedding and healing up. Um, but it wasn't until recently I noticed that she, her, you know, the top left and right side of her, uh, yeah, you can her see top it right jaw in really here. starting to puff up and get inflamed. Right. And that's when I started, uh, decided to take her to the vet. Told me most of what I already know is that she's got an infection or an abscess. Did some blood work. She doesn't have an infection in her blood and gave so her- So it's some... not systemic. It's just a localized issue right. right here on her face. And gave her a course of antibiotics. Now we're here where it's kind of, kind of really hasn't gotten better. It's kind of just gotten, you know, more pronounced. One of the things when Scott was talking to me about it and everything like that, um, he sent a picture and you can see the swollen gums. One thing about pythons, I don't know that a lot of people realize, but retics in, in particular, like their teeth get a little bit longer as they get towards the front, you know, so they have those longer teeth up at the front and they, they shed those and replace them throughout their lives. So what can happen when you're saying your snake's a pusher, you're saying this snake in particular likes to test the boundaries of her cage, see if every, you, every, if every you, quarter uh, where they could leave it unlocked today, can they, I get out? I've can even I... noticed that I, I've taken the hides out because they will get under the hide and notice the hide is moving. And then I think they're like, oh, maybe that's a way out. And they start <laughs> bulldozing around their tank and that's where they were getting marks on the top of their necks. So if you have, especially like a baby retic and it's starting to push, there are some reasons why they might do that. And you can watch this video right here if you wanna kind of troubleshoot why it's pushing in the first place. But whether they push or don't push, they definitely shed teeth. So a lot of times, let's say a, a snake might um, strike at a food item and miss and hit something hard. If a tooth is loose and it, and it kind of gets knocked loose, hi baby, at that time, they have all this extra flesh and stuff in their gums, in their lips and around there. And what they can do is like, you know, puncture into the tissue that's around because their their gums act like sheaths. You have the teeth like this and then the gum flesh comes down like this. When they bite into something, those teeth come out. If a tooth comes loose, let's say it moves over like this, it can come out where it's not supposed to. One of their defenses against a systemic infection where they're gonna have bacteria spreading, it's gonna actually build up material around that uh, until it can eventually, you know, expel it or keep it smooth and keep it from damaging further tissue. So what they do, what happens is, they, and this happens with all kinds of animals, uh, if they have an injury or something, they get a localized infection where some bacteria gets in there, it'll form an abscess. Okay, and then a lot of times this abscess is formed around the tooth and it needs to be expelled. It actually happens naturally that you know that abscess will push itself out towards the outside and then eventually like when they're eating or whatever it'll open up the surface that abscess will drain remove hopefully that loose tooth or whatever object was causing the issue and it will get better on its own sometimes to expedite that if there's a hard abscess that's isolated from the rest of the tissue around it it's not really like an, an infection anymore it just has you know, this ball of like hard, it looks like cottage cheese or yeah, something. Foreign, it's like, still a foreign object. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't think it does need to be lanced. We're just gonna use Q-tips and some Provodone iodine to kind of, what, what we're gonna do is like, remove any of the rest, the remaining part of that abscess um, and clean it up. And then when you get her home, you wanna put her in clean, dry, you know, take care of her like that, let it heal. In a couple of days, you might have to clean it again because that abscess is still gonna be open. It's gonna ooze and drain for a right. while as it's healing. You're gonna show me how to do that, so. We're gonna show you how to do it right now. We're gonna show so you guys how to news. do that right now. Great news. So we'll just have this ready to rock. We're gonna bring her over. This is obviously something you might wanna do with a couple Yeah, hands. you want me to hold her for you? Or? Um, well, if, yeah, if you can hold her there, let's take a look. So, let me see here, babe. 
Let's just open her mouth. Come on, honey. I see your tongue, you little cutie. Open up. Open up. There we go. All right. So inside her mouth, she's got two rows of teeth, one on the outside, one on the inside. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I'm just using that Q-tip to kind of hold her open. This is her outer row of teeth, and you can see that fleshy sheath around where the teeth come out. So it looks like she had a little bit of a problem on this side, just a tiny bit right here. You can see that hole where one of those teeth kind of dug around. And what, what might happen is like, you know, the teeth might be in a normal position, but as she pushes, she really kind of messes it up. Now there you can see a little bit of this remaining abscess. Honey, I know it's a weird to have somebody holding your head, but it's just gonna feel great. It's gonna feel great and get you all cleaned up and ready to go home. Here I can see the opening and can you guys see that stuff that just looks like cottage cheese right there? And you can see where it's been getting pulled out. Come here. So we're just gonna go through. She really is, uh, I can tell she's actually already healing from it. You can see this new flesh building up around. So all we wanna do is make sure we get in there, get all this stuff out. Now this girl has already, I think, expelled the loose tooth that caused the issue. So all we need to do now is just remove any of the additional bits of abscess. She looks great, Scott, actually. So all that puffiness is just, that's inflammation, not pus? It's, no, this is right here is seems to all be oh nope look i have another abscess in there so this part right here is a is an abscess in there and i can tell because it's a really hard area right there so that a little bit of an unexpected find rob can you bring me a clean razor please scalpel stack <laughs> so this is actually <laughs> poor baby but good example for all of you guys watching at home this is an abscess that already drained and just getting all this cheese out and cleaning it up is really all that that needs to heal on its own i'm gonna grab a, a new razor blade and we're gonna disinfect it real quickly Let's see if i can do this with one hand oh that's good oh yeah I like that all right so this lump here is not soft, it's very hard. See it? And as I push on it, you can even see that abscess move down. Can you see that? So this is something that would eventually work its way to that surface and come out. What I'm gonna do, hold on honey, better grip. is just push her, push it right to the edge. This is seems crazy because it's in her mouth and I know that's a little bit unusual, but it is just wound care. Look at that, oh, that's the pearl. That's the <laughs> pearl that's formed Gross. around. Can you see that? Oh, it looks great. Mm-hmm. So that is a, a big, hard abscess. All right, so this is this tiny little cut that we made right there, a small incision right through the surface of the gum. And the only reason I did that is because that abscess was so ready to come out. Look, you can actually see the loose, kind of different. loose skin and everything where she was. Now this part is inflammation right here, and I can tell because it's very soft. You see that? Oh, look, I got another one out. So you're just gonna work, oh my God. work that, <laughs> that's that abscess, right? So if it's soft, like on the front here, that's just inflammation where her other wound is healing. But if you get those little hard lumps and you can wait it out until they're close to the surface, you can get them to release all on their own. Doesn't that, doesn't that look a lot better? Let me feel this side now. I'll just make sure that there wasn't anything going on there. She's definitely got some inflammation going on though. De yeah, inflammation on this side. I don't really see anything. Okay, look at this. So as she's healing, here's the problem and why it persists. It, the, the small issues become bigger issues and they, they have issues. Look, they, they keep doing it. Can you see this tooth? It's actually a tooth right here. Right there. See that? That's the loose tooth. Boy, she's got an example of every part of this. That's the loose tooth that's sticking out through the side of the gum. I got it. Wow. Can you see it? Tiny little, very sharp loose tooth it's right good. there. So you're not trying to yank teeth out of their skull. When they're swollen like this, I think she's done. Let me get a little bit of, of this over here where we drained that abscess. This is uh, Providone iodine 10%. That's what we're gonna clean her with. There we go, baby. Let me just get this off her head. 
Oh, no. Come here, hon. So definitely go back and watch the video and see like why it was pushing. Yeah, I, I think she's done. I think she's good. So all we did was clean that up. You can go in in another day or two and just clean it. The problem is as that inflammation and the, the loose puffiness persists, those teeth have a hard time getting out where they're supposed to get out. So you need to keep it from reoccurring. You have to keep her from pushing uh, until that gets all better. You're, you're popping a pimple. That's what it is. I hope you like that pimple popping video uh, inside of a eight foot animal that's fighting you. But, eight, yeah. eight foot python pimple popping. That's what we're going to name it.